Hello and welcome everyone. Please enable English captions subtitles on your YouTube player to read with me. This is Chris from England and this lesson is a reading of another work by William Blake. This time I'm going to read Proverbs of Hell. As always there are lots of interesting things about this. It is part of the book called The Marriage of Heaven and Hell. I understand Blake wrote these proverbs to contradict each other in some ways to provoke thought and discussion as in the marriage of heaven and hell. Some you might agree with, some not. These are William Blake's proverbs of hell. In sea time learn, in harvest teach, in winter enjoy. Drive your cart and your plough over the bones of the dead. The road of excess leads to the palace of wisdom. Prudence is a rich, ugly old maid courted by incapacity. He who desires but acts not breeds pestilence. The cut worm forgives the plough. Dip him in the river who loves water. A fool sees not the same tree that a wise man sees. He whose face gives no light shall never become a star. Eternity is in love with the productions of time. The busy bee has no time for sorrow. The hours of folly are measured by the clock, but of wisdom no clock can measure. All wholesome food is caught without a net or a trap. Bring out number weight and measure in a year of dearth. No bird soars too high if he soars with his own wings. A dead body revenges not injuries. The most sublime act is to set another before you. If the fool would persist in his folly, he would become wise. Folly is the cloak of knavery. Shame is pride's cloak. Prisons are built with the stones of law, brothels with bricks of religion. The pride of the peacock is the glory of God. The lust of the goat is the bounty of God. The wrath of the lion is the wisdom of God. The nakedness of woman is the work of God. Excess of sorrow laughs. Excess of joy weeps. The roaring of lions, the howling of wolves, the raging of the stormy sea and the destructive sword are portions of eternity too great for the, for the eye of man. The fox condemns the trap, not himself. Joys impregnate, sorrows bring forth. Let man wear the fell of the lion, woman the fleece of the sheep. The bird a nest, the spider a web, man friendship. The selfish smiling fool and the sullen frowning fool shall be both thought wise that they may be a rod. What is now proved was once only imagined. The rat, the mouse, the fox, the rabbit, watch the roots, the lion, the tiger, the horse, the elephant, watch the fruits. The system contains, the fountain overflows. One thought fills immensity. Always be ready to speak your mind and a base man will avoid you. Everything possible to be believed is an image of truth. The eagle never lost so much time as when he submitted to learn of the crow. The fox provides for himself, but God provides for the lion. Think in the morning, act in the noon, eat in the evening, sleep in the night. He who has suffered you to impose on him knows you. As the plough follows words, so God rewards prayers. The tigers of wrath are wiser than the horses of instruction. Expect poison from the standing water. You never know what is enough unless you know what is more than enough. Listen to the fool's reproach. It is a kingly title. The eyes of fire, the nostrils of air, the mouth of water, the beard of earth. The weak in courage is strong in cunning. The apple tree never asks the beast how he shall grow, nor the lion the horse how he shall take his prey. 
The thankful receiver bears a plentiful harvest. If others had not been foolish, we should be so. The soul of sweet delight can never be defiled. When thou seest an eagle, thou seest a portion of genius. Lift up thy head. As the caterpillar chooses the fairest leaves to lay her legs on, lay her eggs on, so the priest lays his curse on the fairest joys. To create a little flower is the labour of ages. Damn braces, bless relaxes. The best wine is the oldest. The best water is the newest. Prayers plough not. Praises reap not. Joys laugh not. Sorrows weep not. The head sublime, the heart pathos, the genitals beauty, the hands and feet proportion. As the air to a bird of the sea to a fish, so is contempt to the contemptible. The crow wished everything was black, the owl that everything was white. Exuberance is beauty. If the lion was advised by the fox, he would be cunning. If improvement makes straight roads, but the crooked roads without improvement are roads of genius. Sooner murder an infant in its cradle than nurse unacted desires. Where man is not, nature is barren. Truth can never be told so as to be understood and not be believed. Enough or too much. Those were Proverbs of Hell by William Blake. I hope you enjoyed that and it gave you some new things to think about, especially with English. Please join us on YouTube, Google+, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr and my main website www.learnbritishenglish.co.uk to learn British English free. We've also got British Accent Podcasts to listen to and download on podomatic.com. Please do join us, discuss, share and invite anyone else who would like to as well. Really appreciate your time and support. Please take care of yourself and good luck with your English. See you next time.